Hello and welcome from my side. In this video, we will talk about data and how it can possibly make your business benefit from them. Data has been mentioned as the world's most valuable resource, replacing oil. And for me, that analogy makes perfect sense. Data is the new oil. If you prospect for oil, you will find it deep in technology and also everywhere on the internet. But for me, the analogy with oil makes sense, mainly because this data is like crude oil. Not useless, but also not very valuable. That is data in this form. To generate something more valuable, like with crude oil, you have to refine it. Then data becomes information. Data becomes more meaning. Considering the examples, the raw communication adds meaning by its messages and the internet traffic by user information or regional data. Once information is available and links between these pieces of information can be drawn, knowledge can be generated. By knowing the relations between different sensor readings, one can identify issues or with the internet example, by knowing the network, most likely communication spreading can be identified. Finally, by identifying causalities and understanding of the concepts behind, wisdom is generated. An expert of the domain will see the sensor readings and identify the root cause of the problem in the technology context. Or the brilliant marketeer will push the information to the right spot. That is the refining process of data, our current age crude oil. Always hoping that nothing goes wrong along the process. But where do we get the data for our business from? Mainly four sources can help. One, online activity data and social media traces, we already identified before. Two, technologies or IoT systems, these we also identified already. Three, mobile data, data we generate throughout the day by walking around and living our life, data that we are willing to share and that is quite a bit. Four, enterprise resource planning tool. All the information we generate in our business on a daily basis, And these sources produces a lot of data, big data. But why is this data not yet fully in control of us? Data can be difficult to handle due to mainly the following four reasons. First, the volume. You possibly remember computers that had less memory than your old smartphone you just dumped because it ran out of space and speed. Second, velocity. The speed by which data is generated and equally important, the speed by which it is outdated is enormous. Third, the variety of data. All ERP systems work on rather similar data, but all a wee bit different, as the Scotsman would say. And fourth, finally, veracity the incompleteness and inconsistency of data, uncertainty and volatile data, just like our life with our customers. These factors make data difficult to handle, but on the other hand, also give us seemingly endless variants of business opportunities. Therefore, the intention of this module is to help you generating such data-driven business opportunities. That we will explore in details together at our face-to-face -face meeting. But in general, we will have to first set a hypothesis or create an idea. Second, find or collect data for identifying success factors of this idea. Third, analyze the data and factors and find the correlations. Fourth, generate a model or draft an MVP. We will have a dedicated model on that with the other colleagues. For your MOOC part, we will focus on two things first. First, to raise our awareness on correlations and causality. Only because it seems statistically relevant or suits our model, it might not be true. And second, we want you to go on a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt for which data is available for free. In this block, these will be your two tasks to also elaborate with your peers. First explain correlation and causality. Why are good examples, prominent examples gone wrong or good scientific explanation? Any form or format is welcome in the forum. Second, find freely available datasets. 
What is available for free or for less than 100 euro investments? How structured is the data source? Explain the previously mentioned four Vs for your data source and other relevant indicators. That's the second task in the forum. Check out more in the forum and in the other blocks of this MOOC course. See you in the next video.